Good morning, Valenzuelano learners. Welcome to Valenzuela FB live streaming of Earth and Life Science. I am Mr. Mark D. A. Valdivieso from Malinta National High School. Senior High, your teacher for today. We will be discussing the perpetuation of life. Before we start, I would like you to get your learning module, notebook, and ball pen for today's learning journey. And also, do not forget the following uh, reminders. Number one, find a quiet place free from noise and destruction. Two, use a functional gadget and stable internet connection. Number three, always be focused on the discussion and participate by placing your answer in the comment section. And number four, lastly, and most importantly, be respectful at all times and be polite in giving your comments. Our lesson today will be focused on animal reproduction. For today's most essential learning competency, we will be discussing the different ways of how representative animals reproduce. Okay, are you familiar with the, with the anime code breaker? Okay, let's try if you're, uh, if you're good at it. So the mechanics. Uh, for our mechanics for today, you are given a piece of text that is enciphered. Each letter is substituted with a number and you need to work out which letter in the alphabet is being coded by the letters you are given. This is your source code. Every number corresponds to a letter of the alphabet. Okay, so for the first code, let's try to figure out what uh, word can we can form here. Did you figure it out? Correct. It's body. Let's try the next one. What word will that be? Correct. That's asexual. Let's proceed to the next one. Do you have the same answer with me? Let's try to find out. Correct. That's oviparous. Next. Okay. This one is a bit longer. Do you have do you have your answer? Okay, that's right. It's protogenous. Let's have the last one. This one is quite peculiar reproductive system. Did you already figure it out? Okay, correct. That's hermaphrodite. These are the words that we are going to encounter in our discussion today. Get your notebook, ball pen, and learning module, and let's proceed to our main course. Animals can be grouped into those which give birth to living offspring, which is viviparous, and those which lay eggs that eventually hatch into offspring, which is oviparous. Other animals can do both, wherein they can lay egg, but stays inside the mother's womb and goes out to the womb after it hatched inside, and we call them ovoviviparous. Animal reproduction can be done asexually and sexually. Let's begin with asexual reproduction. Okay. Asexual reproduction is a type of reproduction that does not involve the fusion of gametes and change in the number of chromosomes. The offspring arise from asexual reproduction are either from a single cell or from multicellular organism. It inherits the genes of their single parent and we have different types of asexual reproduction. There might be parthenogenesis, budding, and fragmentation. Let's proceed to parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis is, for, is a form of asexual reproduction where growth and development of embryos occur with, without fertilization. Let's have activity one. I call this game, Guess That Hype. You are going to rearrange the jumbled letters to reveal the hidden word. The word are the animals that performs parthenogenesis. Based on the picture, what animal is this one? 
Did you already figure it out? Correct. That is aphid. Next is, how about this? Please key in your answer in the comment section. Correct. It's hammerhead shark. Let's have the last one. You are right. It's Komodo dragon. The next type of asexual reproduction is budding. Organism reproduce by having new individuals split off from existing ones, which results in genetically identical parent and daughter organism. The bud may stay attached or break from the parent. Let's have another activity. Guess that height. Can you figure it, uh, what animal is this? You are right. It's Hydra, one of the famous animal that performs budding. Next one. What animal is this? Correct. That is anemone. Last type of, uh, of asexual reproduction in animal is fragmentation. Part of the organism's body breaks into several fragments, which later develop into complete organism. Let's proceed to guess that hype again. Okay. Can you guess what animal is this? It cuts into half. Both parts will regenerate into new animal. So, you're correct. It's planaria. How about this one? He's a SpongeBob best friend. Correct. That's a sea star. Now, we are done with asexual reproduction. Let's focus now on sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction starts with the combination of a sperm and egg in the process called fertilization. Fertilization is the union of sperm nucleus of paternal origin with an egg nucleus of maternal origin to form the primary nucleus of an embryo. In all organisms, the essence of fertilization is, in fact, the fusion of the hereditary materials of two different sex cells or gametes, each of which carries half the number of the chromosomes typical of the species. We have two types of fertilization. Those are internal fertilization and external fertilization. Let's differentiate the two. Internal fertilization usually occur most often in terrestrial animals, although some aquatic animals also use this method. Internal fertilization may occur by male directly deposing sperm in the female during mating or sexual intercourse. While external fertilization usually occur in aquatic environment where both egg and sperm are released into the water. After the sperm reaches the egg, fertilization takes place. Most uh, external fertilization happens during the process of spawning, where it, wherein one or several females release their eggs and males release their sperm, sperm in the same area at the same time. The spawning may be triggered by environmental signals such as water temperature or the length of daylight. Nearly all fish spawn as do crustaceans such as crab and shrimps. Mollusks such as oyster, squid and echinoderm such as sea urchin and sea cucumbers. Let's now proceed to activity number two. I call it tri trivia time. You'll know a cool trivia regarding the topic via Socratic method. Are you ready? Let's begin. Which of these two animals have larger sperm? Is it the whale or the mouse? It's the mouse. Small but terrible. 
how about this one? Which of these two animals dies when their eggs hatch? Is it the octopus or the clownfish? The answer is the octopus. The mother octopus never leave her nest until the eggs hatch. So technically, she doesn't much or not at all most likely. She died to starvation just to protect her youngsters. Lastly, which of these two animals perform sequential hermaphroditism? The answer is the oyster. Let me explain what is sequential hermaphrodite. hermaphrodite. These are animals that reverses its sexes during its life. Protogenous, if it shifts from female to, to male, and protandus, if it changes from male to female. It's quiz time. Let's check, let's check what you have learned for, uh, from our today's discussion. Question number one. What do you call the animals that lay eggs during reproduction? Oviparus, viviparus, ovoviviparus. The correct answer is oviparus. Question number two. A type of asexual reproduction in which a body, a body parts detaches and develops into a new organism. Grafting, regeneration, fragmentation. Correct. The answer is fragmentation. Last, question number three. A type of sequ sequential hermaphroditism where animals shift from male to female. Ovoviviparus, protandrus, protogenus. The correct answer is protandrus. Now, for your take-home evaluation, get your module and answer, answer this. I hope you have learned something from our today's discussion. Always remember, science is fun. Till we meet again, goodbye.